One shot を読み切り、アマンガゼラのシリアライズ and tells a complete story on its own. I love it when I come across a good one shot manga, as you can learn a lot from it, especially in the story making field. And in today's episode, I like to share four one shot mangas that I love and recommend to all. These aren't in any particular order, and every manga I mention is worth 5 to 10 minutes of your time. Number one, Mr. No Kotori by Takemiya Keiko Sensei. You might already know Takemiya Sensei as she is often represented as the pioneer of the shoujo manga industry. Or you might simply know her as the author of big titles such as Toward the Terror and Kaseto Kinota. Sensei has an amazing bibliography including many long run mangas, but she has also created a lot of one shot mangas within her career. And Mr. No Kotori is one of my favorites. So, the manga is about grumpy old Mr. Benjamin Holster who finds a little bird in the forest, which is portrayed as a form of a young little boy. Mr. Holster realizes it is only him and his granddaughter who are able to see this enchanting little bird, and his attitude towards life starts to change in a positive way. Until, that is, we find out just who the little bird is. I love novels such as The Secret Garden by Francis Hudson Burdett, and in my opinion, Mr. No Kotori has a similar vibe. I think this manga can be a really nice children's story, however, it is also a good read for adults as it gets you thinking about the process of getting old. Number 2 Hinata e Hikage e no Romance by Kihara Toshie Sensei. Kihara Sensei is another favorite author of mine who I enjoy the comedic touches in her mangas. However, Hinata e Hikage e no Romance is a little more on the serious side. The manga is based in Japan after World War II. A young boy named Kozo loses his parents during the war, and due to that shock, he loses his voice. However, he meets a young man named Akio who is nice to him and starts to think of him like an older brother. However, Akio wasn't able to tell Kozo the fact that he was indeed half American, who were the enemies of Japan at that time. Nowadays, it is common to see half Japanese or mixed Japanese people. But to be honest, it isn't until these recent few decades that the Japanese society started to accept these mixed race Japanese. And myself being half Japanese as well, sometimes I wonder what would it have been like if I were born a few more decades earlier? This manga highlights on that subject matter, so it was really interesting for me as I have never came across a manga that talks about this sensitive topic. You might need some tissues when reading this. As it is a beautiful but a very sad story. The next one shot manga that I recommend is a little bit more lighthearted. Number three, 100 Man Pondo no Ai by Shimizu Reiko Sensei. The handsome playboy named Kai Wallace is asked to marry Miss Lisa, who happened to be his grandmother's age. At first, Kai refuses, but after a few thinking and being told that he will be granted to inherit a million pounds, Kai decides to marry Miss Lisa. As the two spend time together, Kai starts to find out what kind of person Miss Liesner is, and his mind gradually starts to change. I think this is a very classic romantic shoujo manga, as it is very heartwarming and reminds you how beautiful love can be. You can see through the pages how the artwork is influenced by the Art Nouveau style, and it is very pleasuring to the eyes, especially if you love that style like me. I also like the fact that Shimizu Sensei uses the star system, which means you'll most likely find the same characters playing a different role in Shimizu Sensei's other one shot mangas. And finally, the last one is a one shot manga that I recommend to all storytellers. Number 4. Hanshin by Hagio Moto Sensei. Yes, it's another manga by Hagio Sensei, who I've talked about several times in my previous videos, and probably will continue to do. But Hanshin by Hagio Sensei was a bolt of lightning for me, so I just have to talk about it. Yudi and Yusi are conjoined twins. Yusi is pretty and innocent, and often referred as an angel. Yudi is thin and bony, and has to look after Yusi, who isn't able to do the everyday things by herself. When the twins turn 13, an operation is held to separate Yudi and Yusi. The operation succeeds, and a month goes by, and Yudi is able to walk over to the room Yusi is staying. But the person Yudi sees behind the doors was it Yusi, or was it somebody else? This is a manga that goes deep into human psychology. It is such a powerful story, and what makes it more mind blowing is the fact that this story concludes in just 16 pages. 
Yes, 16 pages. That's 16 pages. That is not long at all. This manga really showed me the capability of manga and comics as within just a few pages, by using the power of graphics and storytelling, it gave me a new insight about the complex mind of us human beings. So these are the 4 one-shot mangas that I love. Have you read any of them? If you have, we should be pals. If you have any one-shot manga recommendations, feel free to leave a comment below. And hope to see you in the next episode of my manga series. またね